Hi friends, hope you all are doing great. So in today's video, we will you know try to find out uh, a new concept, relatively new concept, which is to find Nifty's or Bank Nifty's range basis current India VIX, right? So this is one of the uh, method which you may combine with the what charts are saying, what open interest data is saying, and then if you add this also as a additional tool, so you get a three-way co confirmation this that these are the most likely levels where Nifty will you know um, expire within this week or within this month or within this year also right so let's try to make a formula so i'll just try it here so here i'll write spot level right first column then india vix this is an annual number right so so skip so let's support let level of nifty and say bank nifty so I'm taking it as 15,030 and I'm taking this as uh, 35,500, right? So if these are the levels, current levels of Nifty and Bank Nifty and VIX is around 24%, uh, rather 22%, I'm just assuming, right? So this is the range of VIX. So, if we need to identify the annual levels, annual levels, right? Then we just need to, you know, uh, device of simple calculation, this annual upper range, we'll write it as upper range, lower range, the lower level, upper level, right? Here we can write annual. So upper would be very simple. We'll this plus simple. I hope you got it. Like up, this is annual thing. So 22% of 15,000, whatever the value comes, we will add that value to spot level. This will give me an upper range of Nifty as per the current VIX. So in the same sense, uh, we'll find the lower level also. So that would be simple opposite of it. This minus this into 22% So this. So as per current VIX level, 22% VIX, so upper, we may expect that Nifty would expire, I mean, Nifty would hover between 18,336 and 11,723. So if somebody is really interested in these long term options, so we might, you know, trading these kind of strangles so that we will be relatively safer, right? And similarly, same formula we can apply to Bank Nifty. So this is the most probable range, annual range for Nifty and Bank Nifty basis, uh, annual India VIX, right? So the tricky part is on monthly and weekly. So now we'll just try to figure out what is monthly thing. So before that, we need to find uh, a monthly VIX. This was India VIX, which is annual. So now we need to calculate initially what, what is monthly VIX. So monthly VIX is simple. This annual VIX divided by square root of 12. Some type of error just runs it. Is 
So this is the uh, range. This is the monthly VIX. So if we 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 might not go, we might not get into the you know details of what is the square root of twelve. If you want to study it, you might go and uh, Google it. You will get detailed explanation because I I just sim for simple understanding why is this number twelve has been taken because uh, there are twelve months in a uh, year. So hence uh, we will be you know. Uh, putting 12 here so in the same fashion if I have to calculate say weekly VIX so I will simply what I will do I will replace uh, 12 by 52 right because there are 52 weeks in a year so in that thing I will do 22 divided by square root of 52 this would be somewhere close to this number. So now I can go and calculate the upper and lower range um, similarly as I calculated for annual thing, which would be upper would be this plus this into this. Similarly for bank nifty and lower level will be this minus this into monthly weeks close it so this and in the same level we can calculate it for um, weekly which would be again this plus this into weekly VIX and in the same fashion this minus this into weekly VIX we will replace it for wait for bank 50 also so broadly if we have to summarize obviously this is one of the tools you need to combine it with charts and uh, open interest i have already made two video uh, one video on open interest so uh, you have to combine it with this so as per vix calculation if i talk about say one week from here so nifty would most probably uh, can go up to 15,489 which is close to 15,500 level which is, which is the upper resistance and at the lower level Nifty can go near, to, near 14,500. Now the tricky part is that this VIX is not fixed right. This keeps on moving. So you have to anticipate the VIX also. So if you think like I mean if VIX is going to increase so how I calculate it like if VIX chart we can open the VIX chart and in case VIX is trading near support so there could be a rise in VIX so we if we anticipate that in the coming week VIX is going to remain higher because of some unexpected news or anything so what we can do we can I mean if we calculate it say on 25% right instead of 22% so our range will bit broaden up like it will be weekly nifty would become 15551 and 14500 similarly bank nifty would be 36700 and 34269 so because uh, i mean so because we have increased so if you think this went to 28 also last week right so if we take that into consideration so the range would be more broader so you have to take trades basically within this range so this doesn't mean that uh, you go and trade blindly you have to um, uh, take the uh, you have to take the um, hedge also because I generally don't trade uh, with the especially in naked strangles or straddle especially in the overnight position I might I might do 
intraday trading which is with, without uh, any hedge i i put stop losses in the system but for the overnight position i do take hedging so if you are even trading uh, using wix so you have to have certain hedge strategy as well you might take calendar as a hedge you might take you uh, instead of making triangle you can do go for uh, iron condor or uh, instead of going for a straddle you can go for a butterfly kind of thing so but do take hedge, hedge if you are really uh, a long term player you want to stay in the market for a longer run don't ever carry uh, naked positions in in uh, overnight trade because it is really harmful the market world everything is so unpredictable you don't even know what is going to happen next day right so we cannot just risk our capital uh, just for the sake of you know earning more i mean if you stay consistent you can even you can sustain in the market for a longer run you can always earn right but my understanding would be these kind of tools are just to calculate you know uh, up, up near levels i mean the the most probable levels but these are not the holy grails of any nothing is holy grail right in market so you have to have your stop losses your hedging in place even if you are using wix even if you are using charts even if you are using open interest so so in with this sort of calculation uh, we can think that nifty should be in the range of uh, even if i mean i assume wix remains in 25% category so most probably nifty's range would be 14500 to 15500 bank nifty could be somewhere close to 34000 to 37000 right so these are the two uh, important levels which you should be looking at right so you can now the, as a homework what you can do you can correlate these things uh with chart chart support and resistance as well as you can uh, go to any uh, tool or any even the option chain to check where the highest open interest are lying so you will find them near to these points only right so just do it as a homework and uh, let me know in case you have any doubt as a comment i would definitely love to revert you on that thank you